Hi, my name is Gary Interline. I'm OE Technical Manager with Michelin Ag Tires. I'd like to talk to you today about our Michelin Agribib Tire and also our Michelin Yield Bib Tire. What we have in our booth here at the Farm Progress Show are two identical case tractors, same axle weights, front and rear axle, and we have the two different tires, the Agribib on this tractor and the Yield Bib over on the other tractor. What we did with these tractors is with the tire mounted, we painted the tires and then jacked them up, painted the tires, and then got footprint shapes of each of the front tires and the rear tires on each of these tractors. So you can see the footprint shape and notice the length of it, especially on the rear as well as the front with the amount of lugs that are in contact with the ground. So let's look at this nest tractor, the, the case tractor with the yield bib on it. Here we're able to lower the pressure because with our new IF and VF technology that Michelin has on their ag tires, IF is improved flexion and VF is very improved flexion, we're able to reduce air pressure and carry the same load. So in this case, we're going to show you for the recommended air pressure for this load, you can now see our rear footprint is a longer footprint and the front footprint is also, you're able to reduce the pressure and it has a larger footprint also. So let's come back here and look at the chart that gives you the details about each of these fitments and what it means. Here's our inside look at the footprint. With our yield bib tire, the rear tire on this tractor on the left requires 6 PSI to carry the axle load. The standard technology tire, our agribib, here requires 14 PSI. So you can see the amount of reduction we have and that's a huge benefit in terms of footprint shape and the contact patch surface area so that we get improved traction with that. On the front, you can see the, uh, the VF tire on this side is 13 PSI, the recommended pressure, and over on the, for the Agribib it is 23 PSI. So both axles were able to reduce the pressure and still carry the same load with this new technology. And what that means at the end result is we got a 5% uh, increase in footprint versus the standard tire which in this case, it's about 100 square inches of contact patch. And what that does for the farmer, it reduces compaction and it improves traction as we've seen with the contact, with the amount of lugs that are in contact with the ground. 